Hi, this is Sherry Patton Ceramics, and today we are making a bat wing. This is one where uh, both sides are done that I did in a demo with uh, with my students, and and here's some other demos. This is kind of nice. Um, this is when you take a sgraffito tool, which has a little tiny triangle on the end, and you make a hole all the way around the edges. That looks really good. So today we're going to be making a wing like this. And so I was thinking of the best way to start off by teaching how to make the wing um, as far as drawing. And I realized that probably the best way is upside down, thinking about a half rainbow. So doing that, what you would do is start off by drawing that half rainbow. Make sure that it's not too curvy. And then you would go outside the line and down. And inside a bit because this is the index finger and it goes down low. And this is actually the thumb right here. And then you're going to make curves kind of like when you were uh, drawing umbrellas when you were a kid. So this one's going to curve down and back up, down and back up, and down and back up. So three times. One, two, three. So we're going to go one time down low and back up. Touch. Two. And three up to that corner. And then we're going to put the other bones in, which are the ones down here. And I marked them in yellow so that you can see them here also. But they're curved. They curve in and back out. They curve down and back out. And again here. And down. And one more time. This is kind of a weird one. Look at the distance here and try to make it about the same distance curving up to that end. Because where you're going to actually connect it is right here. Okay, so this is going to go back like this. And the very last bone is going to be right here. So then when we turn it around, make the little point here. So then when we get it and turn it around, it's going to be our bat wing. Just like that. So here we go. You're going to need some guides. Here I have quarter inch guides, which is a really good idea to use uh, guides. My students at school have eighth inch thick guides, so they will have to do, um, they will have to use two guides on each side. For this, I always start by, by pressing out the clay, and then I'm going to roll it. This is just a dowel that my husband and I got, uh, I think at Home Depot or something. And my husband went and cut them for me. So it was a low cost way of, of having lots of dowels for my students to use. Because I have so many students in each class, around 40. So now I'm just going to place it on the clay. I can see that I have more, more than enough. So I'm just going to cut off those ends so that I have a more manageable piece and turn it around. And now I'm going to use a pencil to push in that uh, indent the clay. Let's get 
get all this off here. And now, so we're going to press in almost hard enough to go through the paper, but not all the way going through the paper. You just really want to indent, indent that clay. Sometimes it helps going through the line a couple of times. Through a couple of times, but that's okay. And I think I've got everything there. Looks good. Let's go on. So now I'm just going to get a paper clip or a needle tool and cut this out. And now I'm going to get pieces of clay and roll them into clay ropes. As soon as you have more than, you know, it starts to get a, a bit long, just tear it and roll it again in your palm. Just using your palm. ahead and roll this one too. I know I'm going to need it for all those little bones. All right. I like these, this end right here. It'll be really good for the thumb area. You want to have a nice thin piece for that. All right, so what's really going to make a difference on these is you know the bat wings are very, very thin. We want to, to really make this a nice thin area. So like for example on this, you can see that these edges, I've pinched them. And so that's what I'm going to be doing right here. So right now, on the side of this, it has one two edges and I want to push down this edge so that there's only one edge. So not on the side, not on the top. I'm going to push this edge right here down. The best way to do that is on your work surface. And notice how I'm using a nice long um, stroke with my finger. And so now notice also I lifted up the piece to put it in a better place for me. To smooth that down. So smooth it down here. Notice how I'm holding it with my other hand to make sure that it, it doesn't warp, the clay doesn't get messed up. I'm not going to do it right here because this is the place where I'm actually going to attach it. And I want that place to remain thick. But the other areas need to be smoothed down. All right. So now next step, I'm going to get, uh, I'm going to score. I'm going to score all the places where I have those bones at once. I like this one because you can really see in yellow, you can see all the bones. So let's use this one. So I'm going to score right here. And I'm going to score right here. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm still trying to get over this. I think it's a sinus infection. I'm not sure. That or the flu, I don't know. And this is the main bone that holds up that wing both of these ones right here. 
If you've got really, really soft clay, then you're not going to have to score as much. If you've got soft clay that you're adding, and this is something that you just made. However, if either piece is a different uh, hardness, a different softness, you're going to have to to score these quite a bit to get them to, to stay together. Basically, the smartest thing to do is just to score, especially because these are going to go on an unusual creature for, for our project. And uh, if they're not scored well, they're going to end up on the kiln floor. So now I'm putting ton of slip on this. It's much better to have too much slip than not enough. And now I'm going to start adding those bones. Use that nice pointed one right off the end here. And it needs to be pointed down here too, so I'm just going to take and squeeze. And I'm going to connect. Oops, that's got the scored part in the wrong side. And up and chop it off. Hmm. I like the end of this. I'm going to chop it off right here because I'm going to need I'm going to need this bone right here. So I'm going to score this. I'm going to chop off this in so that I can go ahead and put this one on. So that's this one here. And I have one more. I think I'm going to use the end so I get that nice end right there. And I chop it off. And add it. Now is the important part, the part that really makes it look great. And that is to really rub the slip around to make sure that you make this bone look like it's under a flap of skin. You don't want it to look like the bones are outside. You want them to look like they're inside. So I'm really pushing this together and connecting them. I'm actually pushing this down more so that it connects better. Pushing these bones down more. And there you have it. A beautiful bat wing. Take care.